ended. So we are at VidCon House 2019 and we surprised Jessa and um, I'm gonna show you the house real quick. Look, house tour. Bathroom. This is the room that Regan and I will share and possibly share with some other people who come. Living room. Another area for people. And this big kitchen dining room area. And then two bedrooms upstairs into the bathroom. And the pool. And we already have people at the pool. This is the end of day one of VidCon and I'm starting the video here. I'm gonna show you what happened today and take off through the other three and we should be able to wrap it up in one quick video. Which is pretty awesome, but uh, in the video, if you watched it already or if you're not checking it out, it's a little more steppy, it's a little more complicated uh, of a way to use some of your leftover starter. So today we're gonna to do something that's uh, you know just as fun. We're gonna make some sourdough pancakes and then some lacto fermented berries, strawberries and uh, some blueberries and raspberries to uh, add to a little maple syrup at the end to have as a top. So, uh, this is starter. Um, this is basically a mixture of flour and water and it's inoculated with all sorts of yeast and bacteria that will like raise basically bread dough. I mean the other content was uh, mainly about me becoming a dad and trying to find ways to hack parents or you know, transition from uh, being a, a sort of a man child into a responsible adult. Yeah, I've been on the platform for four years now and um, make like a weekly you know, kind of sketch comedy about kind of everyday regular life. So I started filming all their vines and uh, in like a month they were getting a million followers. So I quickly switched careers and I started making vines and then I switched over to Facebook I went to two panels and it was my selfie day where I took selfies with people like this one and this one uh, and this one. It's day two of VidCon. Yeah. Can I get a thumbs up from everybody if that's cool? Thumbs up. One of the most famous quotes ever <laughs> in this world. Nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. Benjamin Franklin. Smart man. And honestly, one of those things can lead to the other. <laughs> <laughs> vice versa, right? So I'm here to see Molly Burke. I don't think I'm a regular Democrat. <laughs> I think I'm probably 40 years older than her normal demographic. Forever 21 Fashion Hall, or whatever it was, being able to listen to them talk about it was really, really helpful for me. So that's kind of what got me into it, really. It's like I lost all my friends, and I didn't have any girlfriends to go shopping with and talk about makeup and dating with. And I also couldn't, could no longer really see it for myself. So these girls on YouTube kind of became like, what felt like my big sisters or my best friends when I didn't really have a Being what it is you have and, 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 and running with it in a direction. So in that way, it's, just, it's, 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 it's empowering to not dope on it, but to get creative with, uh, with it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Any other easy compliments for me? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. I just... Well, no, no, no. I really, no. No, no, that was really kind. Thank you. That was really kind. Uh, I was the family brother that was at all the functions. And I was cool with that. Like, you know, because like people knew who I was. And I... You know, you should stop doing like this kind of material because you don't want to be known as like the one-legged comedian. Mm -hmm. And I understand what he's saying and right. how you want to like have a, a broad array of, of your creativity, et cetera, et cetera. But it also felt like we should all be so lucky to be known for anything. Yeah. But I kind of thought that was the problem for most comedians was not being known for anything. Yeah. Similar to YouTube, like, like that's the like that's the goal. Like when you're trying to build a channel, is being known literally for anything. So in that sense, it's like it doesn't whether it's disability or whether it's being known as a great beauty vlogger or whatever. Like you have to be known for something, and there is then a balance of, of pigeonholing. Uh, and, and I think you have to have a positive appreciation for whether you're known uh, your channel is known for like disability related content or whether it's known for like pranks or whatever. Like that the pigeonholing is what got you the audience. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,
Bella's got the sweetest disposition ever of any dog in the whole world. And there's the bunny! Is that your bunny? Yeah. Awesome! Well done! That's his bunny! <laughs> VidCon video. I have the day after VidCon video still coming. Don't forget to watch that. And here's some more videos we made about VidCon. <laughs>